And you know what's funny? The moment you step out of people's lives, it's a chase. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> My ex would be like, you be contacting so much. You be always, like, because it was the one, he was the one person I used to talk to for, like, as long as we did. We were together for years. Like, he was my one little person. He's like, you be hitting me up so much. So I went days. It was like 48 hours, y'all. He was like, hey, I haven't heard from you. You're not going to hear from me. <laughs> you can't even appreciate my presence. I don't got shit to say. Same with, uh, I'm actually going to do a story time on that. I think. I don't know if it's going to stay up or not. But I got to tell y'all some shit. Budapest. Budapest boy. I want to tell y'all about that. Because that shit fucked with my head. And I was in a really good place. And he came and rocked my world. And I want to talk about it, get it off my chest, post it, done. If it gets deleted or if I decide to not post it later, whatever. But I just want to share it out with y'all because that was some shit. That's what happens when somebody really fucked up or is going through some fucked up things comes in your world. And you're working on your healing and they just fuck up your world too. Ooh, might do a story time on that while I'm here. Okay, let me save my storage for that. But yeah, I'm just not allowing, even if it's just friend, friends... Even if it's friends, though, I'm just not allowing people in my life to be on bullshit anymore. Like, and indirectly hurt me and say things that are hurtful. That you have to, you have to be grown enough to know that they're hurtful. <sighs> Let me live even louder than before. Nobody gonna shut my ass up. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Let me edit. I'm about to edit the Puerto Rico Zip Live vlogs. I am like five plus cities behind. Whoopsies. About to go to my what six sevens. Anyways, don't worry about what I'm up to, y'all. I'm just working and I'm going for a walk to the store real quick. All right, y'all. So I forgot my bag. When I had put my apples in, I just grabbed the extra and double bagged it. I'm gonna walk back. Y'all, what's up, y'all? I just went grocery shopping. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna put y'all up here. I ain't got no wig on, no hair. You know, usually I don't care, but I'm gonna just put y'all right here so I can show you my little grocery haul. You know your girl loves to eat. Okay, I found out we have like a little panini press. Not the apple version. Anyways, all right. <laughs> Anyways, I got this bougie African bread so I can make me a little panini, okay? I know I'm trying to cut meat, but I haven't cut it entirely. So I got salami and cheese for the little press. I'm hoping I can find some butter in here. If not, we're going to have to hope that cheese melts real nice. I got some almond. I'm hooked on these Summer's Bee drinks. So they had some new flavors. They have pear and passion fruit. But I still have some for yesterday. So I just grabbed another passion fruit one. And I got some apples. And one. Oh. All right, we got three. Laundry detergent, because I want to do laundry here. There's a washer, and he showed me where the dryer was, so I assumed that it's permission to use it. And I did get a little chocolate bar. And another... And another water. Okay, and I also got coconut oil. You don't have to believe in oil pulling, but I don't know. It just makes my mouth feel fresher, and I know my breath don't be stinking at all. Usually, but definitely when I oil pull, my breath be smelling super fresh. So, yeah, I probably use some of this and bring it with me this is like five bucks it's at three and she scanned it it's at five but whatever so it's my little fridge it's not much but i only got like two three days here i also want to say no offense to the people <laughs> but if you go to a new country and you want to get a feel for like what everybody's like please do not do it at a grocery store i don't even shop at the grocery store at home like i do walmart pickup because i want to avoid people it's just a lack of space personal space it's a lack of consideration people be bumping into you like bumper cards people be looking miserable up in there people be all up in your space did i mention that i sure did i'm gonna mention it again but yeah i feel like the grocery store is not a good place <laughs> to get a feel for a city because i had it in hungary i had it here in croatia i have it at home where it's just people just be doing too much in the grocery store like i like grocery shopping and i don't like grocery shopping Anyways, also, these are coming with me because I'm not going to be on a plane anytime soon, so. All right. Just missed the rain. Don't mind me. My mouth has coconut oil in it, but I just missed the rain, y'all. Perfect timing. It's the way I could really use butter for these little sandwiches. I'm about to make these melt, and, like, the one thing he has in his fridge is spaghetti sauce, and in the freezer is butter. And the date's still good, but it's like freezer burn. I don't even want to microwave it and melt it. And also, I don't like using other people's stuff, even if it's there, because like you don't know what happened to it. He cool, but just to be safe, we're gonna eat this dry ass sandwich and get some butter 
or something later. I'll be tying everything up because those little fruit fly thingies, I don't know. That, uh, mm -mm. Anyways, I also got this juice, these toka juices, but yeah, toka are really good. Also, I want to say this machine is like peak childhood right here. Like, <laughs> this was, this was a good lunch when you was a kid. I mean, don't get me wrong, my parents always cook like really good food, but like this was like a cute, like nostalgic lunch. It's like, oh, I got a little grilled sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I promise my parents were chefing it up, y'all. But like, this was like just the vibe. All right, y'all. This is a little snacky snack. Eating and doing my thing. Very good day. I wanted spinach or broccoli to throw in here, but the supermarket was bugging. I ain't seen none. Either you had to buy a big bag of spinach, and there was no broccoli. So here we are. These are the save and stack moments. Okay.